<laughs> what have I learned? Um, it's beyond words, really. It's all about really plumbing the depths of your mind, body, spirit and unravelling things. So to me it's about being able to be present with myself and just to allow whatever wants to, to be expressed. A voice life practice for the whole self, allowing the life force to sound through you. I think everyone's individual voice has come out in a very deep way that is unique to them and I think that that's certainly a place that I really wanted to get to. It was just about finding a sound, a voice inside your body and, and finding out what it was. And it was always surprising. It's a portal not only to kind of an emotional life, but a spiritual life. Moving voice between heaven and earth, which is a reference to Tai Chi. So it's a flow between um, those different polarities. Today, it's the risk and share of vocal Tai Chi apprentices. So we've been on this four month journey. Today is our sharing with the public as a kind of example of what that four month journey has been about. Every apprentice here is going to be confronting a, a slightly different part of themselves because to actually sing in front of members of the public is going to challenge them in new ways. And that's part of the practice and the, uh, the training. Or if you want to spend longer there, you can just go gently and then uh, floating into mezzanine. So, But they have a map of the voice, which is the four floors of the vocal house, which um, are the basement, the ground floor, the mezzanine and the attic and this gives them a very wide range of vocal sounds to draw on and we've been practicing those sounds along with quieting the mind, grounding, centering and coming into a place of connection with self. Okay, now we're going to make a sweep. So we're going to go from the earth to the peak of the attic of the roof of the vocal house. So we're going to go... Oh. really go underneath the basement into the cellar now into those grimy parts <laughs>
It's a wider practice than singing. Singing is part of it, but really it can be an expression of the whole range of human emotions and expressions. More than um, at any time before, I've been able to stay with the parts of my voice that I haven't liked <laughs> um, and feel them start to open up. Yes, I've certainly met places in myself which have felt very challenging. I've explored places in my voice that before I would have pushed away um, and judged as ugly or unskillful. process of vocal Tai Chi is kind of like a, a mirror that you can look at yourself, you can experience yourself and learn to love it and learn to love yourself. I'd been in therapy for two years and I had never been able to express my anger. Within three sessions, it unleashed a particular piece of anger and rage, which enabled me then to stand up for myself in other areas of my life, which then actually led to myself and my husband getting married. I kind of grew up in a pub, and my, an Irish pub, and my dad used to sing around the bar. I kind of got into... Um, wanting to sing to people. To... Oh, it's, it's scary. Ooh. What I love about it is about community somehow. If you are a person who feels nourished by community and by engaging with other people, this is a huge part of it. emotional watching everyone else do their solos you know because we've gone through this big journey together oh it's just it's just been great to be amongst a community of supportive people who are interested and open and it is i think extraordinary work we kind of loll about and we do stuff and we have tea and then it gets really intense but it's i feel it's 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 the other people the other participants, Jenny, the whole thing that is what is at the bottom of all of this. It'll change your life, it will.